Okay, so in this video I'm going to go through the procedure for editing the boundary of a floor. So we can see here I've gone to my project browser and I've selected uh, floor number two, where at the moment I have a C-shaped floor and I want to add a balcony in this area here so that it's going over the entrance. So how I do that, first of all I need to select the floor. So I'm moving my mouse to the edge of the floor and I'm pressing the tab key until the correct item is selected. And what I'm looking for, you can see it on the screen there now, where it says uh, floors. So I select the floor by doing a left click and I come up now to the section for editing the boundary. Do another left click. What I want to do is draw a new boundary using straight lines so I'm using a line up here and I'm going to zoom in now I want to start my balcony where the horizontal grid line that you can see across the screen here meets the existing floor so it's an intersection point it should snap to it so a left click on there I'm going to draw my line out 1200 millimeters so I'm just moving my mouse until I get it to 1200 and doing a left click now what I want to do is to carry on drawing this line but I want to create an arc shape. So I'm coming up to here to start end radius. This method here, start end radius. Well the start of the arc is the point I'm already at. The end of the arc is this grid line down here. So I'm moving my mouse down to the intersects with the grid line. And the radius of the arc, it doesn't matter what I set at the moment. I just draw it in uh, like that for now. We can change the radius later. And now I want to go back to drawing a straight line. So I come back up here to draw and I carry on until I hit the intersection point there. Now at this point I need to do some editing. What I need to do is to take this line that's vertical at the moment, where the, the, the current boundary of the floor, and I want to uh, split that so that the boundary between this point here and the boundary between this point here is removed from it so that the new boundary goes out along the new shape I've just drawn. To do that I need to split the line. That's this button up here, split element, highlighting it on the screen now. So click on that. You get a little knife appearing and just pick, make sure when you hover over that it is the line of the floor that you're selecting and click anywhere about halfway between the first line you drew and the second line you drew, about halfway there. Still in this command now what we need to do is to trim. So we go to the trim button up here in the modify ribbon and what I want to do is just to trim that line with that line and trim that line with that line. And now as you can see the boundary of the floor goes out in a closed loop and I can now just finish the boundary by clicking on the green tick button. You can see now that the floor extends out into this new balcony we've created. The last thing to check now is the radius. If I just sketched the radius on that one for a minute uh, a minute ago. So I'm just going to select the floor, edit the boundary, and I'm going to select the line that has the arc. Just do a left click on it and you can see that the dimension of the radius comes up here. So we want to use the example of three and a half meter radius. So click where the dimension is written and just override that dimension 3500 and press enter and the radius of the arc will update and you can click on the finish edit mode button up here now and just to see that that has actually worked we go into the 3D view over here double click on it and if I scroll in and pan around we should now clearly see that the floor that was straight across here a few minutes ago now has this balcony coming out from it around here.